What's up guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Ao Ao. I got a new cool stuff to show you today. Flux has just released their newest image generator, Context. It does so well in controlling character consistency that you don't need a separate LoRa like what we did before. With just a single photo, you can put your character anywhere you like. On top of that, I will show you how to use Comfy UI on iPhone or iPad so that you can generate pictures or videos anywhere you like. Flux Context is a breakthrough multi-model image editing generator that you can simultaneously utilize text and image inputs to precisely control image generation. The model has 12 billion parameters that can run within 20 gigabytes of VRAM. The model features excellent context understanding and character consistency maintenance, ensuring that the key elements such as character features and composition layout remain stable even after multiple iterative edits. For example, you can use the workflow to first generate a picture, including the object, on the first picture. Then, feed the new picture back to the workflow and apply another style by referring to another picture. It also does an astonishing job in editing specific elements in the image so that you don't have to mask the image every time. Flux Context comes with three versions, Pro, Max, and Dev. The Pro and Max versions are only available to use through Black Forest's API nodes and will cost you a few bucks. For freebies, you can run that version on your own computer. To run Context on your own local machine, first you need to update your Comfy UI. You can also download the newest release from their GitHub. Then browse through workflow templates. You can see the new Flux Context workflow pop up here. If you don't see them, you will need to update your Comfy UI. We can see two workflows here basic and grouped. There is no difference in terms of their functionalities. The first workflow is constructed using several basic nodes so you can clearly see the internal structure layout. The grouped workflow is constructed with a node combining everything together so the structure looks more concise. Let's first try the basic workflow. Make sure you download and put the clips, VAEs, and models to the corresponding folder. Put the text prompts in the green box. Add the reference pictures here. Choose appropriate CFG and step values as needed, and run the model to generate. It's so easy to use. You can put a character photo to the model and it does an excellent job in maintaining character consistency. For example, I will put a fluffy teddy bear and generate a few scenes about this bear robbing a bank wearing the money heist costume. That is perfect. Almost every picture is showing the same bear doing different things. Let's try the grouped workflow. The grouped workflow looks much neat than basic model because it combines trivial nodes together. You can add reference pictures here. If you only need one, just disable one of the image nodes. As we can see that there are two context image edit nodes, it allows us to do complex texting by stacking multiple context layer one by one. I will try combining the two subjects from original pictures to one picture. And they are hugging each other. The result is amazing. We can also stack more layers to add more features on the picture after the combination. Now that we have the best image generator, what if we want to run Comfy UI on our cell phone or iPad? Well, it's very easy to set up. Since Comfy UI is running as a local service, you can access Comfy UI through a browser. Theoretically, you can access this server on any device that can run a browser. You just need to enable the Windows Firewall to accept incoming HTTPS requests through the port 8188. Search and open Windows Defender Firewall. Click Advanced Settings on the left column. Click Inbound Rule. Click New Rule on the right. In the dialog, click Port and Next. TCP and set the port number as 8188 which is the default port number of Comfy UI. Click Next, Next, and set a name, and Finish. Now, your computer will accept any incoming traffic to port 8188. We are not done yet. Go to Comfy UI folder, edit the run script of Comfy UI, add flag Listen. This will set the program to accept all incoming traffic from outside not just the local machine by default. Now you should be able to access Comfy UI on your iPhone or iPad in your house. 
as long the devices are in the same subnet. Go to ipconfig to search up your PC's local IP address. Mine is 192.168.1.10. Open Safari, enter the IP with the port number 8188, and boom, Comfy UI. That is how to access Comfy UI anywhere in your house, as long your device and the server are in the same subnet. But what if we want to access our server anywhere on the Earth? Well, it's also possible to do that. To make it available anywhere on Earth with internet, you will need to set up Cloudflare. First, register a Cloudflare account. Then, download Cloudflare to your computer and install. Open Terminal, run Cloudflare Login. Make sure that you are logged in with your account. Run command Cloudflare Tunnel with the flag of the URL that directs to your local host service of Comfy UI. After successful connection, you will see a public URL like this. Now you can access your Comfy UI anywhere on Earth with internet, on any device. That is how to use Flux Contacts and how to use Comfy UI on your cell phone. I hope you guys like it. If you find it helpful, please consider like the video and subscribe to my channel. I got more cool stuff coming every week. I see you guys next time.